Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalid from Cyber Panel and in today's video we will be discussing about a brand new feature that Cyber Panel is launching which is our spam. So our spam is basically a potent spam filter and it is super quick. It filters out any email that is being sent out and it's or it's coming in if that email contains any kind of virus it's going to spam uh, it's going to filter that out so in this video i'm going to show you how you can access our spam using your cyber panel dashboard and also how it's going to work so without further ado let's just jump straight to the video okay guys so to install our spam d it's really easy what you need to do is go into your cyber panel dashboard from here you can directly go into email settings from the left hand side menu and from here click on R, uh, R spam D. Now it's going to redirect you to our page uh, with cyber panel you get one click installation so you don't have to do any kind of configurations yourself everything will be done for you by cyber panel. So it's going to take a little time and when it is done your R spam will be uh, installed on your cyber panel dashboard. Okay guys, so once it is installed, it's going to refresh your page and once it is refreshed, you will be able to go on to the uh, RSpam configuration page. Now from here, you can view your RSpam logs, you can uninstall uh, or also you can restart your RSpam log. Now we're going to check out our view uh, RSpam logs just in a bit. It also, you can turn on and off your antivirus. So right now it's turned on by clicking it, you can turn it off. Now let's just send out a dummy email and see what, how it, this can stop um, from viruses from being sent from an email. Now from the left hand side menu, I'm going to go into email and access my webmail. Okay, now from here, I'm just going to send an email. And I'm just going to add a random subject, random body, and I'm going to add this file. Now this file contains the signature of a virus. It doesn't have a, the virus itself, but just a signature of the virus. And now when I click on send, what it's going to do is our spam has stopped my email from going forth and it has displayed the message can't send message. Now if we go back into the our spam configuration page and click on view our spam logs and scroll at the very end, we are able to see that it has basically rejected my and uh, my email from being sent and it has stopped for stop basically so you can see that it has forced reject my email since a virus has been found within the content of the email so this is how you, it's going to stop any email from even going out Okay guys, so we just saw how you can check out your R spam logs and how you can uh, how you can see that R spam has basically stopped an email even from going out if it thinks that there's a virus in the email or in our case a uh, signature of a virus in the email. Uh, so now let's check out how it's going to respond once we turn off the antivirus status and click on save changes. Oh, okay, so we need to check an action. I'm going to just simply reject, save changes. No worries about that. Okay, so now this is the save, uh, changes have been saved. Our action has been turned off. Now when I try to send that email once again, my email, email is going to be delivered. So this is how you can basically check out how our spam is going to protect you, your clients from any recipient of your emails and from you also from any kind of uh, virus or any kind of data breach whatsoever uh, if it is going through an email. So I hope this video was really informative for you guys. I hope you really enjoy this feature in Cyber Panel. If you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe Cyber Panel.